She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Women and children eat first. In my family, children eat first, then women and men eat together. This is something that was left over from the days my family lived in tent colonies striking in the West Virginia coal mine wars. Papa said that 50 pound bags of beans, potatoes, cornmeal, and flour would be delivered to the tent colonies by supporting unions in Ohio and Pennsylvania. When the miners went out on strike, they could not live in the coal company houses. The tents were provided by the union for each family to have one. Food was carried in on the backs of mules, for the coal company wouldn't let them use the train in some places. Times was hard, and coal companies was cruel. Breaking the will of the striking miner was foremost on the company mine. If starving them out would rid him of the tent colonies, then starve them out he would. There came times when the miners couldn't get supplies in to feed their striking brothers and sisters. Sometimes deliveries were cruelly sabotaged. Bags cut open, food spilt on the ground. It did not matter to the coal company if that was a week or a month's worth of food. The miners were taught by Mother Jones the importance of protecting the women and children. She highlighted the importance of caring for her family first and that the children would inherit the world left to them. Papa said women was dropping babies they was so weak. If pregnant, they was miscarrying children on the ground just as they walked. Women couldn't carry a baby to full term for the lack of food. Just think a moment, dear one. This is why men died of starvation during those strikes more so than women or children. Will you take just a moment to contemplate this sacrifice? That their children must live even if they die. The miners were united in their desire to have a union so their children might reap the benefits of work, better working conditions. Do you see with your mind's eye the nobility of character the love and devotion to the principle of unionizing the coal fields. Men were committed to unionizing the coal field, and many gave their lives so their children could simply eat. What bigger sacrifice is there in our human condition than to put one person's life before your own or to love your neighbor as yourself? Commentary. I never saw a man eat first till I moved to the deep south. Grandfather always fixed his plate last and he never ate a bite until everyone's was prepared. I know where that came from. His father lived in the tents and grandfather grew up in the tent. Mom would put fix our plates in Florida and we'd sit and wait on the grown-ups in the 60s. But see, things have changed so much in today's world. People are actually starving for good nutrition on their feet. Processed food is dead. It has no live nutrients for us to acquire minerals, enzymes, light. And since the advent of canned, processed food, we've moved further and further away from what gives life. With the onset of diabetes, COPD, and hypertension, our corporate master has a captured audience. Step in Big Pharma and none of us know what to eat. Here's a statin so you can keep eating improperly. It'll lower your cholesterol for you. And here's a pill for your blood sugar. You can continue to eat anything you want. And you can keep eating that red meat because we also have a pill for your high blood pressure. But they never tell you the truth. That all three of these things are changed by the food we eat. What are vitamins and why do we need a pill to take them? The word vitamin was created around 1912. It means vital minerals, vitamins. See, once gas lights were installed and the Industrial Revolution popped off, 
Good old corporate master work mankind 24 hours a day. Corporate master don't care about our nature, our sleep cycles, or our ability to metabolize Mother Nature's bounty. He created vitamin as a pill for us to just keep working. Yeah, think about that. We have processed food because it's cheap. Corn syrup, a chemical, it sweetens cheap. All of these foods lack vital, essential minerals. They know our lifespans are beginning to shorten. They know diet-related diseases are increasing our suffering and the public debt, and they don't care. Our illnesses raises profits for big pharmaceutical companies. Corporate master wants us sick for his capitalist greed knows no bounds. Will we move towards family gardens again? Will we stop wasting time and money mowing grass? Are we really doomed to continue eating pesticides found in our cereal we give our children, in the wine and beer we consumed, and in the processed foods? Do we have any compassion for our body? Here at Creators of Radical Compassion, we have a burning desire to encourage each other to plant gardens, to permaculture the earth, to love one another. And for this, we must love ourselves first. Women and children eat first is brought to you so that I may ask you, when will we love our bodies as ourselves? I say today, let us have a new care and a love for our natural body. Let us realize what the system has done to crush our health. As Tupac surmised, let's change the way we eat. Let's change the way we live. Let's change the way we treat each other. The old way isn't working, so it's up to us to change. And after the mind wars, still I see no changes. We must become the change we seek, or we will continue to be led blindly by corporate masters' designs upon us as a working class. Open your heart and your eyes and see life whole. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to subscribe and share. Coming right.